Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We are here at General RV of Richmond, Virginia doing a special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. We're taking a look at some pre-owned units. This time, see we do pre-owned videos all the time. And I'm like, how do we mix it up? How do we make it fun? So not only are we gonna show you some used inventory here at the Richmond store, we're gonna go over the ABCs and 123s of RVs. We're showing you one class A gas, diesel, a B, a C, a fifth wheel, a toy hauler, and a travel trailer, even a teardrop I saw over there. So today's gonna be a great episode. And begin, beginning with this awesome Thor Venetian. Oh, before we show you that Venetian, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. why the heck are we in Virginia? Uh, we are headed up to New York. So in about three or four or five days, um, well, I know the exact date, June 22nd, which is this Saturday, we are gonna be doing a huge, huge, huge uh, reveal of a brand new product, guys. And we are so excited. Make sure to tune in again this Saturday, June 22nd 7 at 7 p.m. You guys will not want to miss it. If everybody could do us the biggest favor in the world and come on, check out our video at exactly 7 p.m., it'd mean the world to us. Yes. This is a 2023 Venetian 40R. Now, they discontinued the Venetian uh, in 23 24. Right. Like, I haven't seen very many 24, so this might be the last year. Uh, this price is 409. It's discounted to $299,995. We got a beautiful full body paint job. It's an XCR chassis, which is raised rail. So it's gonna give you that awesome passive storage. I'll show you that in a second. And I believe it's gonna be a Cummins 380 on these. No, it's the XCR 400. Dang. So it's raised rail, 400 horsepower. Really, really awesome. This is Thor's higher end diesel, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay. It's one step below a Tuscan. Okay. Which they also discontinued. And here's what we mean when we say raised rail: you get this nice passenger storage, more ride side out tray, and everything. Come on in, Will. Okay. Oh yeah. This is a beautiful looking motorhome. It is, Do like wow. A band first. On Looks real. great. On real. Oh wow, look at what we got going on up here. Hold on, let me oh, get man. this side. Uh, start her up. No, they Oh, they don't that. have the keys. But look at this. Wow, got that this is big nice. big screen, nice big map and everything. Takes That's you. really cool actually. Yeah, auto leveling, freight liner, very, very nice. You do have a bunk over the cab right here. Look at this nice furniture. Look at this. It's very, very nice oh in here. Oh my gosh, silver. Really nice storage, really well maintained. If you guys see something, you can call General RV of Richmond. Both Will and I will be here tomorrow and the next day. Right there, because this video is coming out tonight. Right. And then we got a sofa here and a TV that rises up. And then look at this awesome clock. Love it. Bolivia. There you go. Look at this nice uh, piece of wood finishing here. And you can always click our link down below and get in contact with a member of our team. But with it being pre-owned, you're gonna wanna call the Richmond store right away. Pre-owned goes quick a lot of times. Here today, gone tomorrow. Nice dishwasher, I love that. And we want to extend our good luck to the Florida Panthers. Um, oh, is that tonight? That is tonight. There so you go. We're going to be watching the game at the hotel, Will. Okay. Nice Samsung TV fireplace, or I know at least I will. We've been on the run for the past couple I weeks. know, I might be in bed. Right. Nice refrigerator, ice maker, water filtration system. Very nice. Half bath right here. Half bath. Yep. Perfect. Nice uh, tilt-up bed. Looks like it's a sleep number bed, which is interesting. That is interesting, yeah. Over here, we do have a stackable washer and dryer. Already installed. So hopefully the Florida Panthers win. And I actually got to go to game two, and I got to uh, bring my uncles. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. You think they'll win tonight? I do. Home, game five at home, up 3-1. Yeah. Nice double sink. 
story. And they got smoked last game, so they're coming in hot oh, and yeah. ready. Well, they want it. They, they did that on purpose. You think so? Yeah. They want to win at home, huh? They want to win at home, you know. All right, there. Good shower. It's a risky move, though. Listen, Will, do you know how many teams have ever come back from 3-0? Uh, yeah, like point. They had like a two percent chance or yeah, something yeah. like that. I would take that risk, so I could end at home. And here's what I'm saying, Will. If I had the money, this might be my home because this is a beautiful diesel pusher. This is what we call a class A, uh, a class A diesel pusher. And the reason why they call it a diesel pusher, for those of you that don't know, a gas motorhome, your engine's up front. A diesel motorhome, your engine's in the back. So it's pushing the motor home you right know what I'm saying and the big advantage of that this is gonna ride better it's gonna be quieter because you're not and it's gonna be cooler for sure because your hot engine that's loud in the back where you don't have all that up front now listen a gas motor home is hotter doesn't ride as well and it is a lot louder but it's also a significant price difference yeah between a class a gas and diesel so with that said let's now take a look at a class a gas motor home so next up is a something I'm really excited about. It's a 2022 Forest River Georgetown 36D7 at $125,000. Dang. 4995. It's a beautiful tier four top of the line gas motorhome from Georgetown. Now we don't sell Georgetown brown up uh, brand new right. in general, but you know it doesn't mean I'm not a fan. I am a fan. Anything this nice, I like. Nice big headlights. Beautiful full body paint. These have this does have the 7.3 liter V8. Godzo engine. And then look at these tires. What are the Michelin's? They're 255-80R 22.5s. They're big. They're beefy. It's on a bigger chassis. Right. They're gonna ride fantastic. Beautiful. These are the Alcoa rims right there. And now you don't get that um, pass-through storage, but you do still get really nice storage. And it is these awesome aluminum slam latch doors. Right. Look at these nice rubber gaskets here. Very nice. And again, that price point, 125 grand. Notice that little scrape right there? Oh yeah. Yeah, we do not fix this on pre-owned. It can easily buff out, but that's something that you're gonna have to take care of. But talk to the dealership. Tell them that's worth a thousand bucks to knock there off. There you go. You know, very, very nice. Love how they painted the water heater. Okay. Nice 5,000 pound hitch in the rear. Ladder to get up on the roof. Backup camera. Really nice looking tail light design. It is, yeah. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay. But what were you saying? I don't remember. You did what? Oh, just like that price point at 125 grand. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's not the diesel, but. Oh, yeah. I mean, but for that is savings? It, is this the same year? No, this is a little older. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that one was a 23. Right. But still, we're talking half as much. Yep. For, what, another year old? Yeah. And then no diesel. So right here, well, we have a nice cockpit area. Camera, command center. Over here is the desk area. Comes out to make a bat desk. Cool. Really nice plush style seats. Bunk over the cab right here. Nice. Then over here. We have a very nice dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. Cup holders here with storage underneath the dinette. Okay, and then as we shift, we're gonna take a look at this kitchen. Beautiful solid surface countertops. Look at this. Nice sink here. Yep. Farmhouse style. Then you even have these cooktop here. There you go. Very nice. And that sucker's lodged in there, wasn't it? It is, yeah. It's heavy. Unreal. That sucker will pinch my fingers, I know it. Good size oven and everything. Yep. And then look, you got the thin Q residential refrigerator, ice maker, water filtration system, big freezer. And then shifting across, four seater theater seat sofa from Thomas Paine. I absolutely love that. You even got pantry space here. Five huge storage bins there. And across from the TV, you got um, more storage, TV, entertainment center, sound system, and a Furion fireplace. 
That fireplace does produce heat from electricity. Nice. And look, they must have, have a friend like me. No, they have a cabinet. Ah, oh, very good. For those of you guys that don't know, I dented Will's fridge in this 382. Yep. And guess what? Even though we're not going to show the 382, Will, if you guys are interested, what do you have? Uh, 2023 Paradigm 382RK. Fifth wheel. Fifth wheel, yep. We'll link that video down in the YouTube description below. But uh, Will's is still for sale, and it's actually at consignment of General RV of Ocala. Yep. Look at this. More so pantry space. So if you need space. financing or any of that stuff, they can help you now. Yep. Yeah, that's the big thing, Will, is financing. Yeah. Most people aren't coming with 100K cash, you know. Right, right. Cool. Nice bed, low sitting bed, too. Really nice. Look at the high gloss cabinetry. Does a really, really good job in here. Okay. Nice toilet area. And just shut the door, Will. Okay. And a huge shower. Very, very nice. Well, again, this is the Georgetown. It's a GT7 series, which means it's their higher end. They got Georgetown GT3, GT5, right. GT7, so it's the highest end version. And again, at 125000 this is what we call a Class A gas motorhome. Now let's check out one of the more expensive motorhomes per inch, which is a Class B motorhome. And just like that, Will, we're actually not going to show anybody a B-Van today because the one that they have here pre-owned uh, just sold. So congratulations. But I did want to touch on it since we're kind of doing the ABCs. Uh, before we take a look at the Class C motorhome, the reason why Class Bs are so expensive, a true Class B motorhome is a unibody chassis, for those of you that can't tell. So this Class B is more expensive than this Class C. And the reason why is because this is a Class C, even though I must admit, I do call them B pluses on YouTube, um, but it's a Class C because it's a cutaway chassis. And then they build this box on top of the chassis. B vans, the reason why they are so expensive is because they are a unibody chassis and they literally need to build it from the inside out. Doesn't mean you can't get good deals on Bs, but a lot of people are looking at Class B motorhomes because they assume, because they are so small, that they're probably the cheapest out of all the motorhomes. Believe it or not, it's the Class Cs that are cheaper. Cs are the cheapest, then the Bs, then the As, then the Class A diesels, and Super Cs. So with that said, C or Super C, Will? Super C. Let's take a look at the Super C next. So next up is a Super C. And the reason why we call it a Super C, because it sits on a diesel chassis. Some of them are like this Ford F-Series chassis, but most Super C's look like this, and it's on what you would call like a truck chassis. Yeah. Either a Freightliner or an International. This one being a Wraith 32W, and uh, it's a 2021, and a sale price, let me double check just to make sure. Yeah, 149.9, which is fantastic. Beautiful full body paint job, International MV chassis. Um, I believe this year was 340 horsepower. Don't quote me on that. It's either 300 or 340. Okay. Confident in that. Uh, look at the beautiful full body paint job, Will. Looks amazing, yeah. The Astel sticker is faded and crap, but the paint job is still beautiful. I know. Take a look at the inside. Okay. No lights in here, guys, but uh, it's still light and bright enough. Again, here you can see that truck chassis. Bunk over the cab. Oh yeah, when you take a look at this. Starting here. Very nice sofa, light color. This is the old color style. It is. Nexus. Again, we were not a fan of it then and we're definitely not a fan of it now. But here's what I am a fan of, Will. Under $150,000 for an awesome Super C. That's pretty sweet. That works with me. If you uh, go over this way, okay. you can see that the sofa is across from the TV. And there was a chair here. Yeah. And the customers ripped it out, which makes sense. Because that chair never made any sense. And they put a very nice looking ottoman. Cool. Thank you for letting the next customer keep it. And then over here, Will, we have very nice kitchen area. Solid surface countertops. Nice adjustable shelves for the cabinetry. 
Whirlpool appliances right here. Okay. Whirlpool refrigerator. A Dometic oven. Okay. Okay. Really nice looking unit. This sucker can tow 10,000 pounds. Yeah. That's one of the big benefits of a Super C is if you need to tow a lot of weight. Right, right. Right here, here's a dinette. Very comfortable dinette. These were the best boo seats. Yeah. Um, Nexus actually went away for this for a little bit. They went back to it because of us. Very nice uh, storage above there. And then coming on in here. The heck's what the heck is happening here? I know what's happening here. Yeah, somebody must be, somebody must have used RVMattress.com. Yep. And then they uh, put, just tried to find a crummy mattress to right. put back in here. That's funny. Uh, it doesn't matter, y'all. RV match. You know what? Actually, hang on a second. We got nice storage here. Okay. Um, storage above there. Nice bed. Tons of storage back here. And nice shower. Radius shower here. Perfect. Got it? Yes. Now, Will, we're about to take a look at a Class C motorhome. But guess what? This episode is sponsored by RVMatches.com. Guys, everybody knows RVMatches.com makes the best mattresses for RVs. That is because, as you can see here, mattresses aren't generic. Mattresses aren't perfect, especially when it comes to RV-sized mattresses. RVMatches.com has a factory in Arizona. They have a 120-night sleep trial guarantee, and they will ship the mattress to your home or campground. I don't care if you're buying pre-owned, Buy a new mattress, guaranteed. But guys, even if you're buying a brand new RV, they're gonna give you a cheap, crappy mattress. That's why this customer upgraded their mattress, and that's why you should be upgrading your mattress and your RV. Will and Jen are full-timers, and they love their RV mattress from RVmattress.com. I'm a part-time camper, and I love my mattress, and I'm really excited to announce that they came out with a new mattress for fat people called the Titan. And I'm not saying that rudely, I'm saying that because Guess who bought the very first one? It's for firm sleepers, y'all, and that's me. So I'm really excited to give my personal opinion on the Titan once I get it installed in my RV. Guys, thank you so much to RVMatchers.com for sponsoring this video. Will, let's now take a look at a Class C motorhome. Next up in the final motorhome that we're gonna show you today is a traditional Class C motorhome. And we happen to have one of my favorite ones, which is a 2022 Integra Coach Odyssey, this floor plan 24B. One thing I want to point out to everybody, well, is you see the fiberglass front cap? Yep. This is my favorite. I love this. I just love that little jagged point. Yeah. In 2024, they've rounded it off. Okay. Nobody notices it. I notice it. And so to get your hands on one of these with the kind of custom molding, I think that's really cool. Yeah. These are built on an E-Series chassis, the E450, which is definitely one of the most affordables. And the way to construct these is one of the most affordable. That's why you can get this one for $83,995. And it's the cheapest motorhome that we've looked at here on the video. Right. Very nice power tongue jack, frameless windows. Power tongue jack? Power, power awning. <laughs> power awning with LED lights, frameless windows. Take a look at the inside. All right. Now this unit does have a full wall slide. Do a 360 to the left, Well. Okay. Get a nice panoramic view first. And then show everybody what we got going on. Okay. Perfect. Just like that. As you can see, this is a huge motorhome, but really it's only 26 feet, 8 inches. Nice E-Series chassis, Sony screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, really plush seats. Both of these seats swivel around to become part of the living area. Huge bunk over the cab with a front windshield. I love that front windshield. I do too, it yeah. It's the absolute best. Right over here, we have solid surface countertops. This was one of the only years where they did this in the Odyssey. Okay. Very nice feature. Nice sink. Yep. Nice cooktop, residential uh, microwave, and an RV-style fridge, which is really, really nice. It is. Plenty of kitchen space. No sofa in here. This one does have the U-shaped dinette. And if you're watching this, no, you cannot take this out and put sofa in there. This is just the way it is. Now, if you order one, you can order one with theater seats right. instead of a U-shaped dinette. There's your TV, which is kind of at a weird placement, but you have to make it work when you're looking at a motorhome this small. Yep. Tons of storage space here. A bed that folds up and flips up out of the way. 
tons of wardrobe space in the rear. For sure. And then check out this uh, rear bathroom here. Nice little corner bathroom with the shower in the back. Decent sized shower. 30 by 36 shower as well. Yeah. Works. Very, very nice. Well, that was the ABCs and 123s of motorhomes. Now there's three styles of towables. Well, four styles. We got fifth wheels, toy haulers, travel trailers, and teardrops. And Will, do you want to take it away? Sure. Up next is a 2020... 18, sorry, 2018 Montana 3950BR. This is personally my favorite type of towable. Very similar to what I have. This is a full profile fifth wheel. Um, so with a fifth wheel, obviously it's gonna hit you in the bed of your truck as opposed to a travel trailer like we'll show you later. And this is definitely more designed for, in my opinion, living in extended stays where the toy hauler is very, very similar. We'll show you that in a little bit. But that's more for like loading up your toys and having some fun out on the road. And this pre-owned unit has a sale price of only $58,995. Let's show everybody this awesome uh, this awesome unit, Will, and some of the features that you get. Okay. Up front, nice fiberglass front cap. Again, same thing here. You know, they're, they're not going to fix that. Nice. Oh, a little bit of damage? Yeah. Yep, it is what it is, Will. Yep. Nice more ride pin box there. Let's see if they did the... Uh, generator was that an option this year it was an option but it is not installed okay it looks like they probably had their own aftermarket generator stored in there but did not leave it you got a six point hydraulic auto leveling in this this is that's going to be the most stable uh landing gear in the market two power awnings so tons of outside space and this is really awesome as well huge storage flips all the way up you can tell they definitely did some custom stuff to uh, keep stuff from sliding around and moving. And nice, I like that. I actually do like that. Well, I mean, when your storage is that big, it must, you gotta oh, yeah. do it. You kinda have to, yeah. Outside here, is this a TV, I think? Yep, a little outside TV, which you don't see as much on fifth wheels anymore. And they upgraded the tires too. Hand cooks! There you go. I love those. Let me uh, walk on in, Will. No lights in the towables, unfortunately. Well, we got this nice DJI camera that does a really good job with low lighting in here. So not only that, this dark wood makes it even tougher. It does. But tell us what we got going on. So in here, this is a really good floor plan for families to camp in. You have a very, very nice big island. Kind of your cooking center here with your microwave, stove, and oven. This was like a huge fridge for this year having the side by side and this is the two-way refrigerator and freezer so it works off of propane or electricity well yeah you said this unit is for families this is this is a rear are. living it's get to it well it's for couples it's for couples and families what are you talking about i don't understand over here nice entertainment center fireplace and i do like this design like it's yeah a little elevated montana is uh was still. Then and still is a very high end uh, manufacturer nice trifold right there looks like you think they had cats or was this the year that... no this is a flex steel year yeah flex steel oh flex steel again guys this is it we're not fixing that you know what i'm saying and that's not like a general thing that's every dealership in the world with that said you guys can go to rec pro you can go to lipper you can yeah. go to anybody and uh you they can swap them out we can even swap it out, but you got to make sure it's a part of the deal. Right. You, we're, we're not going to take an offer of 55K and then on top of that, throw in the sofa. Right. It's, you know, talk to your salesperson if you like this unit. Yep. Nice uh, dining area here. And really right here, this is why it's for families. Because you have oh, a nice mid bunk. I thought that was a pantry. No, it's a mid bunk. I knew it was a mid bunk. <laughs> mid bunk and office area. I love that. Yep. It's definitely some combo space here. So that pulls out to make an additional bed. Again, you have some office space there. That's why it really is good for families or couples. And again, this is great for full timers. Yeah. You have a friend that comes over, they can stay in there. You also have your office the rest of the time. Office, exactly. And if you have two friends coming with you, you have this nice little loft area. I don't know about that. This is have to be friends. a pretty, uh, pretty yeah. skinny short friend. friend. Yeah, skinny friend. Go, just show that bedroom. Okay. In the bedroom, nice king size bed. 
This is going to have probably two ACs, right, for this year? or you think Minimum. You yeah. No, two or three. Maybe three, yep. Tons of storage in here. Whoops. We're a little on level. Tons of storage here. There's a hose there, so it's got to have a central vac somewhere. Okay. And then right next to that, close this so these doors don't come off. More storage, but this is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. I love that. I thought maybe they would put it in, but they didn't. And then right here, Will, is the bathroom. Really big, spacious, and nice porcelain toilet. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful full profile fifth wheel. But now we're going to take a look at a fifth wheel, and it's going to be different because it's a toy hauler fifth wheel. Okay. At $74,999, we have a 2022 Fusion 379. Uh, Will, this looks like just a regular toy hauler to me. I don't understand. It does, and this is built on a very similar frame and chassis. Wait, I said toy hauler. I meant fifth wheel. Yeah. This looks like a this looks like a regular fifth wheel, Will. What makes it a toy hauler? So, uh, it does look very similar, and it's built on a very similar frame and chassis and everything. Uh, but really, it's on the inside, well, and the outside that you can tell the difference. We'll show you through the inside. Again, this it's going to be the same up front. Fiberglass front cap. You're going to have your pin box that connects to the bed of your truck. Possible generator up here. Let's check it out. Most toy haulers Most have the generator. Most toy haulers have the generator, yeah. Yep. Just like that. Yep. 5,500 watts. Now, why do toy haulers have generators and fifth wheels don't? Well, fifth wheels, regular fifth wheels can but it's more common, like you'll take this to the track or take this out, you know, to the desert with your dirt bikes or whatever. And fifth wheels are going to campgrounds. Fifth wheels are going to campgrounds. You're gonna have propane here. Now you're gonna notice one big difference, a lot less storage here. What, why the heck is that? Because uh, I don't know, but hopefully there's more storage elsewhere. Right here, nice uh, big outdoor entertainment center. You have a refrigerator, TV, and this nice little suburban cooktop right here pulls out. Which is very nice. We'll go on the inside. Now, once you're on the inside, you'll notice it definitely feels smaller in here with this kitchen area, mm. living area, all that stuff. This is your living area? It is. Why the heck would anybody want to buy one of these if this is how big your living room space is? Well, because back here you have a nice garage. Ah. So, so big portion, probably a third of the trailer is taken up by this garage. Which, what do you think this is, like a 10 foot? 11. 11 foot garage? Yep. 100,000% 11. What's really nice is, again, you can load your toys in here. But you also have more sleeping area for guests here once you drop this down. You can also make it a dinette. And this wall right here drops down. That is your ramp. But also, once you unload all your toys, you can lift it up a little bit and it also becomes a nice patio. So bada really, bing, really cool. bada bing, bada boom. Not only that, you got the steps right there. Yep. And you even have a half bath right here. There you go. Now, going back into this living room area, what do we got going on? In here, well, first, you do have a bunk up there. Okay. So, you know, this kitchen, I've always felt like in this floor plan is awkward. But, at the same time, it's actually very, it, it makes a lot of sense for a lot of customers. If you're not cooking a lot in here, this is actually, like, really, really cool, in my opinion. Because you could almost set up, like, you know, if you, if you guys are out with friends hanging out and you're, you're not cookers but you're ordering pizza put all the pizza boxes out there and everybody just grab what they want yeah i don't it's need a not, chef's kitchen right it's not super enclosed it's more of that open field to just grab and go in my opinion yep so two nice sofas here these are theater seats this is a trifold so that makes a bed right here is a very nice entertainment center what i do like is even in this floor plan it's still sitting directly across from your uh theater seats and then you have a fireplace right there Boom! Centralized vacuum when you come up the steps. Right over here is the bathroom. Little bathroom. It is a toy hauler, but it is also bath and a half. And then wrap it up with this master bedroom. Well, here you have a nice Brooklyn bedding. Too bad hey! Commercial. No, Brooklyn bedding. Let me see. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they're just, that's so funny. That is funny. We did not know this. We did not. And we did not do it on, on purpose. Here's what I will say. This is one of the more basic 
mattresses. I can tell, I can feel it because it doesn't have that cooling thing on it. Yeah. Click our link down below. Use promo code Matt. There hey. you go. How you doing? The more expensive mattress, though, the cooling thing's an option. Oh, so they oh is it? it? Oh, so it could be the one just without the cooling thing. Yep. Very nice. Right here, you have pretty good countertop space. Countertop? There's no oh, countertop. space, sorry. Yeah, see, you did it too. The heat gets to us, it Will. It does. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this open. Hopefully you can see. Yep. You can put a stack, uh, I'm sorry, side-by-side -side washer and dryer in here or keep it for storage. Perfect. We got two more units to show everybody, Will. We got to show them a travel trailer and a teardrop. Okay. At 49.9, we got a 2022 Grand Design Reflection 315 RLTS. Will, this is a clean looking trade-in, isn't it? This is a very clean looking unit. As you can see, it's gonna hook up to your truck different. So this is what they call a bumper pull. So it's hooking up to the very back of your truck instead of over, over the bed, over that rear axle. So this in particular, not all travel trailers are like this, but this is a very high-end, heavy, long fifth wheel, mm. I mean travel trailer. You can definitely not tow this with a half ton truck. And don't get me wrong, there's a few that can. We understand. This is the um, same floor plan that Johnny Christina had. They towed it with an F250. I think it was either a 250 or a 350. 250. It was 250. And even they said that that it felt almost like it's a str it, it's just yeah. safer to do it with, with a heavier it's duty with, truck. Yeah, you want at least a three quarter ton, honestly. Again, yeah, maybe you can for the one percent, but <clears throat> For the most part, with this one in particular, most travel trailers you can tow with a half ton truck, though. This one is a big mamma jamma. It is. Oh, and beautiful. And you got those awesome Goodyear tires there. Here's what I will say. If you're full-timing and you don't want a fifth wheel, this is where it's at. This is the style that you're going to want to get. Or that is for sure. Or trips or anything like that. In here, you have a nice uh, dinette right there. Or table and chairs, I should say. Theater seats and then a trifold that folds out to make a bed. Oh yeah, plenty now, of storage in here. Now, for those of you that want a full time in a fifth wheel that are short kings like myself, um, this feels like a fifth wheel to me. Uh, yeah. Somebody tall like Will, you know, it might start feeling a little claustrophobic it's not for too full bad, for full timing. Yeah. Nice entertainment center here with a TV and a graystone fireplace right there. This is very similar to like a rear living floor plan in a mid-profile fifth wheel. Okay. Nice uh, uh, kitchen island here, yes. which I love that about this. Yes. Pretty good countertop space, solid surface countertops, nice appliances, really nice big size fridge here. You can tell this unit was very, very well cared for. It very was. Congratulations. Yep. And then freezer down below. Man, I got a 2024 and it looks rough compared to this. Right. Nice. Plenty of storage here. Nice coffee slash taco bar right there. Oh, yeah. Coming into the bathroom. This is where you can tell it's a little uh, bit Ah, yeah. A little, a little worn here. A little bit. Yeah, you're yep. right. Okay. Not a bad thing. Yeah. You know, you want it to be used. For sure. And then here in the bedroom, this looks like... Yeah, lift it up, lift it up. No, oh, I thought it was. It definitely looked like it. But you can tell they, they just kept it very clean in here. They even kept the old, you know, sheets or whatever you call it. TV would go here. Nice window. And in here, this bed is on a slide. So again, wow. plenty of room in here to get ready and everything. Yep. This is not washer dryer prepped, right? I believe it is. Sir. Oh, it is. Yep. Yes, it definitely so, is. So dryer there. Oh, and washer. So it's going to be an all-in-one unit. So nice little flip-up storage right there. That's it. You want to check out the teardrop now? Yeah, you're keeping your professional composure there, Will. America could see me in the reflection making faces at you. Oh. But you kept on going, Will. That's right. We're going to wrap up this video with a Coleman Rubicon. Call this a teardrop. Right. Let's do this. Now this is for the unit. For people that have one, anybody can buy anything. Okay. Right. You don't need to be a full timer to buy this, a part timer to buy of that. Of course, of course. People, if you want a full time in this, be my guest. The person who's buying this is somebody that has like a Ford Maverick. Yep. They um, just want to get out on the weekends and 
or their kids are in Boy Scouts. Right. They don't want to sleep on the floor in a tent. There you go. So, or they want to have a nice little bed. We've got a little bed. This actually flips up to make a sofa. Um, it has an AC unit on the side, which, which is, is nice. Which is really nice, yeah. And honestly, that's about it. I mean, it's... It's a bed, a little outside kitchen, and an AC unit. I mean, you don't even have a place to put a toilet in here. Nope. Um, it, it is what it is. Okay. Is this one unlocked? Let's take a look at this one. Oh, see. it is a different floor plan, right? Yeah. Wow, this one has a fireplace. What? This Just to take the chill out of the air probably at night. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, it frees you out of here. Oh, yeah, that thing would heat you out of here. Yeah. This is not bad. And again, if you're a short king, you know, this really does get the job done. Nice fireplace, bed area. And it just keeps you in a room, you know? There you go. Now, somebody like Will, Will, you could definitely not do one of those, right? No. Yeah. It's okay, but these are incredibly inexpensive let's find out the price and then we're going to wrap up the video and well while i'm looking for the price remind everybody to tune in on saturday yeah so let me flip it around so this weekend on saturday june 22nd we you've probably heard it in our videos already but we are doing a huge grand reveal and um we're just we're just super excited this is one of the biggest new releases you would say wouldn't you say oh yeah that's that we've seen in a long, long time. No, no, no. Ever? Ever. Yeah. You guys, I promise you, you won't want to miss it. And it's doing us a huge favor by tuning in right at 7 o'clock, June 22nd. Um, again, it just helps us out a lot if you're there right at 7 watching the video. 11995 and 13995. There you go. For both of these Coleman's. Uh, I think the second one we showed you was the 13995. Okay. But again, guys, those are the ABCs, one, two, threes of RVs. And it was a great way of showing everybody the style of RVs, but also showing some of the pre-owned units that we have here in Richmond, Virginia. Again, don't tune in Saturday. Please tune in Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern. It is life-changing for us, uh, as Will was saying, so we really do appreciate it. If you guys saw one of the pre-owned units here that you liked, make sure you click our link down below and or reach out to the team at General RV of Richmond, Virginia. We always appreciate coming here. Good luck to the Florida Panthers tonight. Hopefully they win the Stanley Cup. Will, anything else you want to say? That's it. Thank you guys so much. And uh, again, hopefully you like these used videos and hopefully you liked a little more details, especially if you're newer into RVing about the different, you know, levels of RVs. Different styles. Different styles. Not yeah. levels. Right. We do have videos on levels and we'll come out with more videos. Right on different levels as well. Thank you absolutely so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.